What is going on guys? Welcome to the Jaff Man. I'm your host, Jaff. Today's video, a little bit of an update. 3700X. 3700X has arrived, finally, yesterday. Four days after it was launched. Some delays, but nothing to cry about. Also, today, more excited about my care package of water cooling parts from China to Singapore, then the UK, has finally arrived after about 24 days. So this is all very exciting. I'm just gonna show you a quick glimpse over the unboxing of the 3700X, a quick glimpse of my Chinese water cooling parts, as well as the CPU block, which I'm quite excited about. Thereafter, I'm gonna try to show you as easily as possible how you can flash your BIOS on a compatible motherboard in my case, the X470 Hero 7 Crosshair. But there's other MSI balls, Gigabyte balls that support this feature. So the steps are going to be somewhat similar. But it will vary from manufacturer to manufacturer. But I'm going to show you anyways. You don't need any hardware connected such as CPUs or RAM or graphics cards. If I did have a spare graphics card, I'm kind of sad I don't. Because I would have been able to show you like a mini test bench if the update really works. But I'll have to wait till the build, which is going to be next Monday, when I'm off for Monday and Tuesday. So hopefully Monday I'll be filming the build and doing the build and all the hard true bends and all that great stuff. And on Tuesday I'll be uploading the video at some point. So if you haven't subscribed already and you want to see this exciting build that's coming up, make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna turn this into a few videos. So the first video is gonna be the build and part choices. Second video is gonna be about how to hard tube water cool because although I've done soft tube water cooling on this thing, I haven't actually done hard tube before. And I'm gonna go over the difficulties for a first time person and what you could do to make that process easier for yourself and how not to mess up. The third video I'll be uploading at some point within the next two weeks is after using the computer in that new build format for about a week or so, how it performs, how it runs, firmware issues, driver issues, BIOS issues, whatever it may be, performance from a real world user and sharing that with you guys so you can get a taste if you're considering upgrading. So with all that said, let me show you this quick unboxing. So this is the Ryzen 7 3700X third generation. Little swipe with the knife, take it out the box from overclockers Nicely packaged, Wraith Prism Cooler could be seen here. Had to go quiet there just for that little cutting. But take it out of the box and you're greeted with what is basically the whole box taken up by the Wraith Prism Cooler. And on the side, tiny little box, you have the processor itself. Now this is the view of many other people, as is mine. I wish this cooler wasn't included and they charged us 30, 40 pounds less. But the processor itself, nicely packaged, safely packaged, displayed on the side of the box and feels quite hefty at 40 grams. I don't know, I haven't really weighed any other processors, but my 6700K definitely felt a lot lighter. So here is the Wraith Prism RGB cooler. It is actually quite hefty. Thermal paste, pre-applied, copper, copper, copper base plate and copper pipes with aluminium fins all the way around, a fan connector and a digital RGB connector for your motherboard included in the package. So what I want to show you here is how to update your BIOS. Go to your motherboard's BIOS page, download the thing. This is an example for me. Extract the file. There's something called a BIOS renamer. Open it up. It renames your BIOS to the correct name. At this point, you only have to connect the 24 pin connector no other hardware needs to be connected. No processor, no RAM, no GPU. Grab a USB stick that was formatted in FAT32, plug it into the BIOS named USB socket, press the BIOS switch for about three seconds and you should see it light up. When it lights up, it should be flashing. If it flashes and turns off immediately, then something is wrong, you might not have formatted it right, you might not have renamed it correctly. Remember, this is for my example, which is this motherboard. If everything went right, the light should turn off in about 5-6 minutes. Disconnect the power, take out the USB 
the USB flash drive and take the 24 pin connector off. Like I said before, remember this is only for the X470 Hero Crosshair 7 and everything went well, that should be it. This is my China care package of my water cooling parts. Some hard tube, some reservoir light, some cutting tools, some more cutting tools, silicon pipe, more fittings, loads of different fittings. You never know what you're going to need, how the build is going to turn out. So always get more fittings than you think. An RGB digital splitter specifically for barrel that could be used with this water block. Now this is something I really wanted to show you guys, even though the build video is coming out in a few days. This thing probably is made for multiple sockets, whether it's 2011 Intel, TR4 AMD, but this thing is massively oversized on the nickel, copper, nickel, whatever it may be. A base, basically it's gonna be nickel plated copper, but the base plate where it connects or contacts is like twice the size of the IHS of your chip. Now this probably is universal, like I said, for other sockets, but it's massively oversized. Looks like Iron Man's arc reactor. And for that reason alone, this thing is bloody awesome. It fills that space and void very nicely. And I can't wait to light it up. Now, so that is it for this. There's not really much to talk about. Just a little overview, little update. Like I said, I've got great content coming up. The build, how to water cool, and the performance following thereafter. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, give me a like, talk to me in the comments. What do you think of these parts? What do you think of the proposed build? And I will catch you guys in the next one.